Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to use a cartoon character inside any application that takes a webcam. So we previously had a tutorial that used the Siphon technology and um, when we moved to the M1 Mac architecture, um, we deprecated our Siphon support uh, in favor of NDI. So now I'm going to show you how to use NDI on the Mac with Character Animator using the open source application OBS. So there are a few things you have to install in the beginning. Obviously you're gonna need character animator. That's going to send an NDI signal to um, OBS and then OBS is gonna send an NDI signal to their virtual input. So the things you need for that is the NDI tools. I'm using version 5.5 from the new tech website. Um, I'm using OBS 29.1.1. You also need two little plugins, uh, the NDI runtime, I'm using version 5.0.10.1, as well as the OBS plugin, NDI plugin, which is 4.11.1. So I have installed all of those, and the way to get NDI out of Character Animator, so you have to have those installed first. Then, in the preferences, under Live Output, Enable Mercury Transmit needs to be checked, and NDI Output needs to be checked. So when you do that, you can use an application like OBS and take the NDI Output as an NDI source. So with those pieces of software I mentioned previously installed, NDI Source will show up in OBS. I'm going to select that and click OK. And under source name, I'm going to pick Adobe Character Animator. NEO is the name of my local machine. So if I click OK, here we go. I've got my frog. That's a great start. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is do a recording in here. So I already have an active microphone, so that's good. Um, I want to check out the sound sync. So one really nice thing about using NDI inside OBS is that you can delay the audio, which allows a better um, synchronization between the voice and the cartoon. If I click start virtual camera, we could use the OBS camera immediately right now in Zoom or whatever, but the audio is going to be a little bit early. Okay, so now I'm going to do a test recording inside OBS to check out my sound sync. So I'm going to click start recording here. Check mic one, two. Boop. So when I play that back, check mic one, two. Boop. You can see that the audio was a little bit early. So I'm going to come here into my audio settings. I'm going to do advanced audio properties for the input I have selected. And I'm going to delay this about 350 milliseconds. It's going to be a different number depending on your system. I think that one's going to work pretty well on mine. Let's try that one more time. Check mic one, two, check mic one, two. Boop. Okay, I'm going to play that back. Check mic one, two, check mic one, two. Boop. All right, looks like I might need to adjust that all the way to 400 milliseconds. And we'll do it one more time. This is the last recording of the frog. This should be good. Boop. This is the last recording of the frog. This should be good. Boop. Okay, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna say that's good enough to go. Um, so finally, we now need to get the NDI signal out of OBS. We need the video and the audio. So under tools, I wanna make sure NDI output settings is on. So right here, I've got a check mark, main output, OBS NDI. And then uh, that means that I'm going to have uh, the video and audio for that matter coming out of OBS uh, over NDI. Next thing I'm gonna need to do is launch NDI virtual input. So I'm gonna launch that program. It's very simple. There's really no UI, but under NDI, I'm going to pick the 
signal I want. And in this case, I don't want character animator. Character animator is only going to be the video. It's not going to be the video and the audio. So I'm going to select OBS NDI. And now OBS is currently sending the signal. I don't have to hit start streaming or anything like that. So finally, the last piece is to try this out in a website application. So I'm just going to use Zoom. Um, let's see, what version am I using? It looks like I'm 5.13.11. And I'm just going to come in here and make sure that under video, I have selected NDI video. So that looks good. Um, I'm tilting my head left. I'm tilting my head right. So you may or may not need to mirror your video, but I'm good there. And then the last thing to do is to check the audio. So here under audio, um, I've got my speakers. I'm going to use NDI audio. So if you use, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, if you use the direct input, you're going to have the sound sync issue. So I'm going to use NDI audio. And if I test with the microphone, check mic one, two, check mic one, two, microphone, check mic one, two, check mic. Then yeah, so I've got audio working. Um, so very finally, I'm just going to show a recording we can do. Maybe I'm going to do another tutorial and I'm going to choose this uh, virtual input as the webcam. So I'll do that in a moment. So outside of the obvious fun of being a cartoon inside a webcam application, this is really good for people that maybe want a little privacy. And, uh, you know, let's say you're a game streamer and you'd like to uh, stream as a cartoon character instead of using your own face. Or, you know, right here, I'm making an After Effects tutorial and, um, you know, I haven't combed my hair, so I am not presentable to the public, but here, as a frog, everything should be A-OK. -okay. So I suggest you try this out. It's a lot of fun, and I hope you have a lot of success with it. Thank you.